EastEnders fans suspect Nadine Keller, Jay Brown's connection after his wife's death, hides a secret link to Walford. Jay commits to supporting Nadine and their unborn child, unaware of her deceit. Meanwhile, Bobby Brazier joins Paramount's curfew alongside EastEnders legends in a society with a 7 p.m. curfew. Zach Hudson's betrayal unfolds as he kisses Whitney's friend, Lauren Branning. Fans of EastEnders work out in a shocking twist, Nadine is linked to Walford legend. Seven hours ago, Grace Morris published this. Fans of EastEnders believe Nadine Keller is concealing a significant detail regarding her relationship with another Walford resident. Fans of EastEnders believe Nadine Keller is secretly related to a Walford celebrity since last night's show raised the possibility that the escort's baby secret will be revealed. Jay Brown felt a connection with Nadine, his escort, because of her remarkable likeness to his late wife Lola Pierce Brown. After his wife Lola died of a deadly brain tumor, Jay was overcome with grief and turned to Lola's twin Nadine for comfort. He paid her to sleep next to him that night, but after he began buying narcotics from her, he overdosed and got into a vehicle accident. He ended their relationship because he wanted to get his life back on track, but when she returned and told him she was expecting his child, Jay was shocked. Jay, who though, is unaware that Nadine has been defrauding him of money by pretending to be pregnant. Although Jay was first hesitant to consider becoming a father, he is now totally dedicated to helping Nadine and their unborn child. Jay introduced Nadine to Billy Mitchell, Honey Mitchell, and Callum Highway in Friday night's episode. She also apologized for causing Lexi Pierce any distress after revealing that she was having Jay's child. Nadine was clearly uncomfortable with all the talk about babies, so when Jay revealed that he had purchased a new cot and a monitor in anticipation of the baby's birth, Nadine felt overcome with remorse. Nadine eventually became overwhelmed by everything and fled the house. After a while, Jay tracked her down at the Albert and apologized for everything, but she freaked out and walked off when he leaned down to touch her baby bump. When Nadine returned, Jay apologized once more, saying, I guess I just got a little excited. I've never experienced a baby kick before, at least not my own. Jay volunteered to take Nadine out for dinner and said he could feel the baby kick one morning or afternoon after she made a joke about how little the baby kicks while she naps in the afternoon. But it appears that her little white lies are about to catch up with her, since later Lexi noticed Nadine slipping vodka into her drink, raising suspicions right away. Fans, however, believe Nadine is concealing a second secret, she is Lola's sister. Grace is a digital journalist for whowtowatch.com, where she provides all the most recent soap opera news and responses in addition to writing series recommendations, recaps, and features for must-watch shows. Her passion for creative writing, movies, and television only grew after she earned a degree in writing and film studies from Anglia Ruskin University in 2020. Usually with chocolate by her side, you can find her watching the drama play out in the newest reality shows or beloved UK soap operas. She is an authority on all things reality TV, including Selling Sunset, Married at First Sight UK, Emmerdale, Coronation Street, and 90 Day Fiancé UK. Plus Virgin River, a huge smash on Netflix. In addition to watching and reading about the newest movies and TV shows, Grace enjoys traveling to new locations with her loved ones. Bobby Brazier joins EastEnders icons Gavin and Stacey in a new TV role. Alongside stars from his own TV show, EastEnders, and Doctor Who, Bobby Brazier has landed his next drama role. It was announced today that the beloved Strictly Come Dancing contestant will be joining the cast of Curfew, which premieres on Paramount+. Plus. Alongside Brazier, other cast members were revealed on Thursday. These included Lucy Benjamin from The Dectorists, Larry Lamb from Gavin and Stacey, and Anita Dobson, a former EastEnder. Author Jane Cowie's novel After Dark is adapted into a new six-part crime thriller series called Curfew. The narrative centers on a society where all males are tracked by ankle tags and kept inside their houses during a 7 p.m. curfew, all thanks to the Women's Safety Act. According to the show's summary, a woman gets brutally murdered every night during curfew hours and her body is found there. Veteran police officer Pamela Green feels that a man should take responsibility, but since men are restricted by curfews in this planet, she might invalidate the Women's Safety Act if she can establish that a guy was the murderer. In the meantime, strong forces are committed to ensuring the curfew's success and will stop at nothing to stop Pamela from relentlessly pursuing the truth. 
Brazier joins the cast as James, a schoolboy who is outspoken in his support of lifting the curfew that is in place in his world at 7 o'clock. The main cast of Curfew was first unveiled in February 2024 and stars Mitchell Robertson, Mandip Gill from Doctor Who, Alexandra Burke, and Sarah Parrish as Pamela. Additional ensemble cast members for the production have been revealed, including newbie Raphael Dalterio, Tommy McDonnell, Adam Corson, Amy Louise Pemberton, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, Imogen Sandhu, James Craven, and Salorma Donu. Joasia Golden will direct the series, which is written by Lydia Yeoman. Curfew is now in production and will eventually air on Paramount+. Plus. Bobby Brazier joins three iconic EastEnders cast members in a significant new Paramount TV role. What a legendary lineup! Bobby Brazier of EastEnders, along with three other legendary soap opera stars, has secured a new role in the Paramount Plus drama Curfew. After competing in Strictly Come Dancing last year, the 20-year-old star of Freddie Slater is presently enjoying a vacation from the BBC One serial opera. In his new position, Bobby will co-star with a number of legendary Walford characters, such as Anita Dobson, who played Angie Watts, Lucy Benjamin, who played Lisa Fowler, and Larry Lamb, who played villain Archie Mitchell. Curfew is an adaptation of Jane Cowie's After Dark, which got underway in the first part of this year. In the show, men are subject to a 7 p.m. curfew and are tracked by ankle tags in a society ruled by the Women's Safety Act. However, when a woman is brutally murdered after hours, a police officer makes fruitless attempts to establish that one of the other women wasn't accountable. Bobby will portray James, a talkative student who is adamantly opposed to the laws that have been placed in his neighborhood. DCI Lucy Benjamin Larry Lamb plays Reese Holden, an American who moves to the UK and finds it difficult to live with the restrictions, and Sue Ferguson, a member of the police squad in charge of the inquiry. Janet, a woman who manages a haven for women who don't want to live with men, will be portrayed by Anita Dobson. Mandip Gill and James Craven, two other soap opera stars, have already committed to the project. Although a specific date has not yet been announced, Bobby is anticipated to return to EastEnders this summer in the role of Freddie Slater. His persona departed from Walford to see his mother Little M.O. offscreen, but he will be coming back with Big M.O. In addition, the two will be the main cast members of a spin-off series on TikTok that chronicles their time spent living in Moe's caravan before moving back to Albert Square. Huge Zack Hudson betrayal on EastEnders airs early on iPlayer. Whitney, poor thing. In the most recent episode of EastEnders, Zack Hudson and Whitney Dean's story took a dramatic turn. In the last seconds of Thursday's visit to Walford, which you can see on BBC iPlayer, a Zach and Whitney's closest friend Lauren Branning shared a passionate kiss. After Britney's outburst over how she truly ended up in Whitney's care, Zach and Whitney's already precarious relationship has been put in limbo. Since coming back to the square last month, Whitney has been lying to Zach, telling him that she had done all the right paperwork and was now fostering Britney, whom she had met in Milton Keynes. Actually, Whitney paid Britney's mother Keely to have her taken away, and she has been refusing Lauren's constant requests that she tell Zach the truth about it. Feeling that Lauren was the one who was telling Zach the truth, Whitney angrily yelled at her and used some foul language. Whitney then made an attempt to clarify herself to Zach, but he was still incensed that she seemed to be more focused on Britney than on him. When Whitney later told Zach that she would rather have Britney than him in a pinch, things only became worse. Zack was devastated and went to Peggy's to drown his sorrows. Lauren consoled him there. With Sonia's assistance, Whitney made the decision to be honest with Brittany about her condition as feelings between Zack and Lauren began to blossom. Zack and Lauren were kissing passionately while Whitney tried to comfort Brittany over the news. Please subscribe our channel.